Gate scudding drills, or piezo reamers, or other types of drills with non-cutting ends should be used to remove gutta perca. End cutting drills should only be used after the canal has been cleared to the post length with a non-end cutting drill. Otherwise, the end cutting drills can result in removal of dentin and possible perforation or weakening of the root. Always start with the smallest gates glidden or piezo reamer and work up to the size you want for your post. Size your instruments by placing them against the radiograph and pick the smallest size that removes all the gutta perca at the apex of the root. The problem with non-end cutting burrs is they don't start easily. If you put the tip on top of the gutta perca, they'll just spin until there's enough friction to melt the gutta perca, after which the side flutes will engage the filling material. An easier method is to begin with a hole in the gutta perca. You can make this with an explorer, make it deep enough so that the flutes will engage, or, conversely, you can use a small round burr to make a small hole in the filling material. After making a hole in the filling material, the side flutes of your instrument should engage the gutta perca and they should actually pull you down the canal. No pressure is necessary. Use a stopper on your drill to make sure you don't over prepare the canal. Make sure that you leave at least 5 millimeters at the apex of the root. Once you've reached your working length for your post, use a slight side to side motion as you move your instrument up and down the side walls of the canal. This will remove any remaining gutta perca on the side walls of the canal. Lastly, use your post drill to square up your apical end if you're using a prefabricated parallel sided post.